it's too late. This movie is excellent on every level possible. This is a beautiful movie with great performances in it. Images from this film stay in my mind. I think it's just almost like a perfect movie. It is definitely an essential. The Prisoner of Zenda, 1937. Ronald Coleman, who plays the lead, had one of the all-time great voices. The cast in this big swashbucklers is perfect. I love Madeline Carroll. She had such elegance about her. This is a great big bowl of popcorn movie. It's so much fun. Look what I offer you. The throne and the princess. You're planning on it anyway. And this way is sure. Shall we shake hands on it? <laughs> Zap, listen to this. Count Rupert offers me the throne. That is, if you two don't mind being killed. <laughs> Their turn will come later, play actor. Yours comes now. One thing we love on The Essentials is variety. Mm -hmm. Now we have a, a big, lavish adventure picture. Yes, yes. You know, so I think that's very important to yes. point out that these films had value, too. How do you feel about Prisoner of Zenda? I loved Ronald Coleman, mm -hmm. so I, I loved watching him. Uh, I, you know, I always liked this movie. I always, when it would come on and I would go, oh, good, this is, it's a great, like, rainy day movie. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. And as far as these, this kind of movie is concerned, mm -hmm. this adventure, um, sword fighting kind of classic, it, it is of uh, the best of them. The amazing James Wong Howe is the cinematographer of this, who also did Yankee Doodle Dandy and also did HUD. He had a long career and he transitioned from era to era to era. He's simply astonishing. And the cast, is exquisite. Yes. It's young David Niven is just right. sort of starting out and... Douglas Fairbanks Jr. never better. Douglas Fairbanks Jr. Yeah. Razzendal, you're a man after my own heart. Mary Astor. Gorgeous. The beautiful Madeline, Madeline Carroll. Carroll. And... Ronald Coleman, one of the all-time great voices. It's trust in Providence. You will never get Providence interested in this enterprise. Which is uh, so amazing that he became a star in silent films without the use of his voice. Really? Yeah, he was a big star in silent films like Beau Geste and others. Yes. And he, and that voice is one of the most attractive things about him. Yes. And he's good in this. He's very good uh -huh. in this. But I'm so, I'm so prejudiced because I love him so much in Random Harvest and right. um, Talk of the Town. Nothing better than Random Harvest. And so I, I look at this and go, okay, now, I, now let's bring on Random Harvest, yeah. you know, some of these others. But this is certainly an essential and certainly worth seeing this mm -hmm. kind of film. You know, it's wonderful because People like David O. Selznick, who produced it, you know, got their material, their ideas for material from their own lives. And David O. Selznick was a great reader. So, uh -huh. so many of his films were based yes, on books. Yes, on these classic yeah, novels. Yeah, Anna Karenina and yeah. Little Lord Fauntleroy and, yeah. and all these others, Prisoner of Zenda. And so, now today, people don't read books, classic books, so much. So, that's why you get... You know. Well, I think they feel like they've already been done two or mm -hmm. three times. And some of them have. I mean, Prisoner of Zenda is a perfect example. It's yes. been made many times And now. also, in, uh, they made one in 52, yes. I think it was, with Deborah Stuart Carr, Granger. Stuart Granger, James Mason, mm -hmm. great cast, yes. Jane Greer. And it's actually scene by scene. They use the same script. Yeah, same script. Isn't that amazing? It cuts everything, even the background music, exactly the same. And it's not very good. And, no, it's and you not. see, how that's does that happen? That just shows you right there uh -huh. what I've been saying. Okay, so it's, say... It's about the cast. Uh -huh. You can't redo those no. magical moments. No, and that is what it's all about. Yeah. It's the magic. Yeah. So let's see the film. Here it is, a lavish adventure based on a novel by Anthony Hope. It's the 1937 version of The Prisoner of Zenda. Mm -hmm.